Wait, the Supremes are the sections? Yeah, the Supreme is the, you know, naked segment. Hello. <laughs> that is family friendly. Hey, I'm Carlin. I'm here today in the BA test kitchen, and I'm here with Ellie Kemper. And we've got 20 minutes today to set some crepes on fire. How do you feel about crepes? I love a crepe. Um, I've never made one. I've made pancakes. Okay, same thing. Okay. How do you feel about your eyebrows, eyelashes? I d don't want them. I want them to be burned <laughs> Great. off. Great. That's. I need a bang trim, so okay, it's going to be good. Mission's accomplished. So, Ellie. Yes. Scale of one to ten. Yeah. How are how how would you rate yourself one, as a home cook? The one is the lowest. One is like you couldn't open a bag of chips. Oh, two. Then I'm a two. two. <laughs> I'm a clear two. So we're gonna see if we can cook through this together, and you're gonna follow along with me through verbal instructions only. Yeah. So on account of toi, okay. we're gonna turn around and start making what we're gonna make. All right. I'm very nervous. I'm same. Okay. All right. <laughs> one, two, three. three. Voila. Voila. Okay. So we have the same setup, but you can ignore everything that you're seeing except for this orange. Okay. All right? So have you ever supremed an orange before? Have I ever supremed, supremed an orange? Supremed an orange. Are you saying supremed? Yeah, supreme. No, I have not. So okay. just turn it on its side and cut the top stem end off and cut off the bottom so you've got a flat bottom to stand it up on. Okay. And then take your paring knife. You're going to cut the peel away from the flesh of the orange. Okay, so just using the knife instead of my thumbs. Exactly, and kind of use the knife as you go following the shape of the orange. Okay. So let me know when you feel like you have like a perfect kind of orange tennis ball. Mine's weirdly more of a cylinder, <laughs> okay. I think. So you should have a little, a small glass bowl. Just pull that onto the cutting board. Hold your orange up in your hand. I want you to notice is the way that the orange is segmented yep. with those membranes, right? Take the paring knife and cut down almost to the center. Okay. But and then you kind of like turn that page back like it's a book and then go to the next side of it. Oh, but and sorry, should should they drop into the bowl? Exactly. Oh, okay. Those are the Supremes, as it turns out. Those okay. Each of those segments. Okay. Um, so all of mine are out and I'm just using my hand to squeeze the juice into the bowl. From, from this little white rind. That's right, from the center of the guy. Okay. Take that bowl, put it on right in front of you, and we can just get rid of this whole cutting board. We don't need it again. Okay. I'm just gonna pass it downtown. Take your rim sheet tray that has the parchment paper and just slide that going the long way in front of you. And that's gonna be, that is now your crepe landing pad. Is the long way like, um... <laughs> like if the long way is closer to your body. Yes. Right. Okay. So now reach over and take your um, blender pitcher. You can put that on your tray and we're gonna start our crepe batter. Okay. Okay? So in the tray in front of you, there's like milk, eggs, sugar, a bunch of stuff. You're gonna put everything in this blender jar except the flour. So just dump the eggs, the measuring cup of milk, uh, there's a bowl of sugar, there's a little bit of vanilla, and a little salt. Okay. And so that all goes in the jar. Okay, oh, that smells very good. That's the vanilla. The vanilla. Okay, I'm smelling, I, I am familiar with the smell <laughs> of vanilla. Very Just, comforting. Okay, um, the blender's on its bottom. Okay, good. All right, so there's, the power button is over to the right, and just flip that up, and then turn your dial up to six or seven. Okay. And this is just to, just to combine these ingredients. Okay. So super quick. That's it. Oh, that's it? Yeah, once oh. it looks like your eggs are blended in there, just put it back over, and we'll just get the flour in there. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> once, okay. My it's flour. now in forever blender bottom. That sounds like a good name, maybe, that's like for a, a band. That's like a special night at a special bar. Yes, it is. Just for the blender bottom. Or is it the name of the bar? If the possibilities <laughs> are endless. Turn it back on, and then this needs like 20 seconds. Okay. I think mine's blended. Okay, awesome. See, we're halfway yeah. there. So okay. the black nonstick pan is gonna be for making the crepes. Okay. And the little stainless steel skillet is for making our orange sauce that's gonna have fire. Okay. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is start the sauce. So take the orange juice, 
And the pan's already hot, so just pour the OJ into the pan. <laughs> when you say it's on fire, it's not gonna spontaneously. No, no, catch on later fire. it'll be on fire. It's Perfect. just gonna happen in this pan. Okay. There Ooh. you go. Okay. And then add the sugar. Okay. The sugar is the big in the bigger, bigger bowl. Container. Okay. And then take a spatula out of your little kit. You want to stir until the sugar starts to dissolve. Are we caramelizing? Um, not exactly. We're gonna make a reduction. Yes. And then we're gonna mount it with butter. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I just Which thought it should... just seems appropriate at this well, yeah. point. This is a very bizarre way of, I'm going to go like this. What's happening? You're oh, nothing. Just... I'm just, I'm moving, I'm doing some handle work. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I like it. Right now, we just want the sugar to dissolve, and then that liquid's going to start to simmer. Okay. And in the meantime, we're going to make our crepes. Okay. So take, find your pastry brush that's in your equipment kit. Okay. And dip it into the melted butter that should be right in front of your pan. Yeah. And brush that melted butter onto the nonstick. This is so enjoyable. Oh, I've good. never ever brushed it's... butter onto a hot <laughs> pan. This is therapy. I'm glad. So the I hate to burst your bubble, but the first crepe we make is going to be garbage. Okay. Okay. So we just have to like get it over with. D that's what happens when I make pancakes. It's is the that first a common... pancake. It's never good. Why does that happen? It's just like the pan hasn't made up well, its mind to make friends yet with the crepe. So try to eyeball it. You're going to pour about a quarter cup, and while you're pouring the batter into the pan, try to tilt the pan around so that the batter kind of spreads. Yeah, spreads out. You want to make like a thin layer that's all across the bottom of the pan and if it comes a little bit up the sides that's good too but again this is the practice pancake mine is so disturbing it's a pos if you know what i mean so just like Ugh. don't even worry about it this has been <laughs> seared into my memory i'm gonna have an upsetting dream about this tonight. oh no no there it was... just looks like a bad face oh yeah mine's <laughs> okay so now take a couple of pieces of cold butter out of that other butter okay. dish Okay. And then add them into your orange and sugar reduction. Ooh, yum. Okay. And then without picking the pan up, I just want you to swirl that liquid around. So take your, whichever hand feels good to you. Yeah. I'm kind of move the pan so that the liquid's moving around in a circular motion and it's making the butter melt. And now come back to shitty pancake number one. Okay. All right. And find, you should have another little spatula. Just loosen up one edge of the pancake. Okay. Okay. And pull I... the pancake away from the edge of the pan. Yeah. And then can you away from the just edge? Trust me on this one. Just grab the edge of the pan, the outer, the outer rim with of your the pan. No, the pan. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Are you Don't mad? Don't grab the pan. Okay. Grab the edge of your pancake. Okay. With your with your thumb and your first couple fingers of both hands, and oh. just lift it up okay. and flip it over. Didn't go well. It went fine. Actually, mine doesn't look that bad, but it's still the practice one. It's too thick in the middle. Now, go back over to your sauce. Let's okay. add another couple tablespoons of butter into the sauce. Same as last time, swirling. Th this smells so good. I feel, I don't know, proud right now. All right, now get rid of pancake number one. Just oh. dump it onto your rim sheet tray. We can tear a piece of it, but what I'm feeling is that I added too much batter and my pancake is a little bit thick. The pan was a little bit hot, so these are all things that I want to maybe go a little bit differently on try number two. How do you feel about that pancake? It's it's not um, round. It's it's blobby. It looks like a crab. It's sort of <laughs> it's upsetting to see, and it's burnt. Okay, so great. <laughs> it's upsetting did, and it's crab-like. Yeah. All right. So did you add? Did I hear yep, you go adding? Go brush with butter again. My favorite. This is tricky, but as you pour the the quarter cup of batter into the pan try to tilt the pan around right so that you get this thin circular layer that's not too thick add another one tablespoon this time of, of butter to your sauce and make sure that every time you add butter you're swirling the pan because swirl it. that agitation is actually what makes everything emulsify can you go again with your crepe loosen up lift up with your fingers flip it over okay Tell me what's happening with your second crepe. My second crepe is looks better than the first. It's bigger. If you like that crepe, I want you to fold it in half and okay. then fold it in half again. And then I feel like we have to go right again into another crepe. I do too. Okay, okay great. Okay. So we're gonna brush with butter. So pour, tilt. You should be down to one tablespoon of butter. Yes. Okay, great. Are you ready to flip a crepe? Yes. So lifting up from the edges and flip over. That's one of my nicest so uh -oh. far. Uh, oh, OC. <laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah, that looks really good. 
Okay. And do you feel like if you did this one, would you have like two nice crepes that you feel good about? Oh yeah. Same. Yeah. Oh wow. So as soon as this crepe is done, we're gonna go back and finish the sauce. Please. It's like a symphony of amazing <laughs> aromas That's right so now. That's so exciting. Well, I know, and I made it. It's well, sort of. butter and sugar. It's, I guess yeah. you can't go wrong. And and the flesh of an orange. And the orange flesh. <laughs> The pulpy flesh. The pulpy flesh. <laughs> All right, I'm taking my this crepe out, flipping it over, so the nice side goes down. And if you put the nice side down, then when you fold it into quarters, you have the nice side on the outside, and that's what you want to see. Okay. And then we're gonna go oh, finish huh. the sauce. Oh, uh, okay. I want you to pick up your torch. Okay, I got it. Okay. So standing, Ellie, in front of your sauce, but not, this is like when you light a campfire, you don't want to be over it, right? So we're not going to like look down into the pan. Okay. We're kind of, keep your body straight, no bangs, no hair, no eyelashes, over. Because when we put in the Grand Marnier, we're going to get a, a little bit of a kaboom. This is, I've seen this on shows, <laughs> but is it going to like flame up? Like it's going to flame high? up. So that's why I don't want you to look down into it. I want you to peruse it from afar. Yes, I will. Okay, good. So now take that little container that has the Grand Marnier. You can smell it. it smells like orange liqueur. Okay. Add that to the pan. Right away, it's going to make a bubble and a sizzle. And that's when I want you to light your fire and light that liquid. Oh. Come flambe. On. Flambe. Flambe. Let's see. And oh, once it, oh, flambe! Did it happen? But I need to move it around. Yeah, just shake your pan again. Okay. And it might floof up again. And then take your bowl with the oranges and the orange juice. Okay. And add that back to your sauce. I did imagine the flames leaping up. Yeah. And me like expertly just sort of shaking the pan. Yeah, that's what it sounded like happened. Okay. The reaction of the people around me, it, sound, it seemed like you had a good flame. People's jaws are dropping. No one can believe the no, whiz. No, I don't smell any burning hair. No, none. No because there was eyebrows. no fire. Right. I've lost many an eyebrow and an eyelash. Are you serious? Oh, yes, many. That's and whole tops of hair. So you should have a really pretty looking like deep burgundy caramel sauce with orange slices in it. Yeah. Okay, now let's go back over to our this oval platter that should be in front of your crepe tray. Yeah. Just put your crepes next to each other, and there should be a spoon in your tool caddy. And then I just want you to take the spoon and spoon that, all of that beautiful... Right on top of the crepes. Right on the crepes. Like a few big spoonfuls of sauce, and then spoon some of the oranges over. Am I, I hope that the people at home can see. I oh. want to, like, decoratively... Festunus. How beautiful it is. The color I'm of the sauce I'm going to have a little bit of a touch. The beautiful. touch magique. A, a magic touch. <laughs> Peut-être. But I'm, I'm trying to um, gracefully place my little orange suprême. Well, I think I should stop here, though, because, yeah, well, you can't I see it. But I, I agree. I want to keep spooning because it's enjoyable. I know. But I have, I have reached I also the, may have spooned too much. I've reached the fini. Yes. Once you have completed your saucing and you're ready, yeah. Tell me when you're ready. Oh, I think I'm ready. All right, ready. Are you holding your tray? I am. Holding your plate? Me too. Yeah. Me too. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. Two. Uh-huh. One. Oh! oh wow. Wow. Well, looks, mine looks it like looks it has like beef in it. You, <laughs> right? Sorry. Doesn't it look like there's A beef? little red wine. A little red Maybe, wine reduction. But very beautiful yeah. and oh, a gorgeous so. caramel. A, a deep you. caramel oh, color. Thank you for but saying But the pan that. was very hot when we added the orange juice and yes. it, it sputtered right away. Yeah, it was me. like a horse race when the horses go out of the gate. Thank you. So fast, so fast. that they actually <laughs> break their legs. That's, and they, that's and it's what like I'm known right for. from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we skipped dinner. We're going straight to dessert. That's fine with but me. But I would love to try yours if you would try mine. Now, that's just so gallant. Thank you. I would love that. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry that mine isn't more pleasing to look at. Never apologize. Never. So I'll be honest. Yeah. I did practice a couple times before you came. Okay. And one of the things that I noticed was the sauce was a little too sweet for me. Oh. But by going to oh, this caramel nice. stage, you bring in a little bit of a bitter flavor. Ooh. And I actually think it needs it very badly. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll... Let me be the judge of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is delicious. You're getting, I don't know, eight and a half. Yes, they're a little bit thick, but if yeah. you had kept going, you would have gotten your thinness You're together. Very forgiving. I, I give yours a 10. I oh, mean, it's delicious. That's very nice. I don't know. Thank I, you there, very much. I, I, I guess you didn't ask me for a rating. <laughs> <laughs> I did actually wake up this day and I was like, I hope that she rates me. But well, I, I was got, here to tell you, you did a perfect job. Good job.
No, this is impeccable. Well, thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. And also, well, I love dessert. You so do? This is, yeah. I mean, I usually don't make it. I just like eat it out of a carton because it's ice cream. But this is going to be maybe a new Crepes staple. are good with ice cream. Oh, yeah, they are. Yeah.